Joined by the Nationals' latest draft pick. That has to sound pretty good for Brady House to hear. Brady, congratulations. You were taken number 11 overall by the Washington Nationals. You got the hat on. You got the smile on your face. Uh, tell me what today was like for you and your family as you were leading up to the draft, the draft was starting, and then you were waiting to hear your name get called eventually by the Nationals. Yeah, it, it's awesome, you know, just to even be in this situation. And today... I mean, all the other days were like normal days. And then I woke up this morning, uh, we went to church. And then after that, I just, I kind of sat in my room and just watched TV, took a nap, just, uh, just tried to get time going a little bit faster because it was, it was, it was going by pretty slow to be honest. And then, um, whenever we got up to the draft and, uh, seven o'clock hit here is whenever everyone showed up and we just watched the draft. And, um, once my name was called by the nationals, it was like, it was so loud. I bet people across the street probably could have heard it. It was awesome. Did you black out in that moment? Or do you are, do you think you're going to remember that moment for a long time and all the details of it? I mean, I, I don't think I blacked out. I, I do think, I, I mean, it was close to that. I mean, I was in <laughs> shock. And, and uh, I, I hope I remember it all. Um, I mean, I remember it now. So, but it, it was just crazy. And uh to have everyone back there supporting me and my family, my friends. It was just, it, it, it was, it was awesome. I was in the room when Nationals GM Mike Rizzo called you to congratulate you and welcome you to the Nationals family. And he mentioned a name that he associates with you. He called you a Ryan Zimmerman type of player. Now here in Washington, DC, that's a lofty comp. Ryan Zimmerman oh, was yeah. the first ever draft pick of the Washington Nationals. He's the face of the franchise here. That's what they call him. What does it mean to you to have that comp on your name, to have people within the Nationals organization calling you a Ryan Zimmerman type of player? That's just, I mean, it is awesome to hear. I mean, I I feel like he has been in the big leagues and has stayed up there ever since I can remember. You know, I'd go to big league games. He'd be there. Um, we actually were driving through Washington one time, and we actually bought some Washington Nationals tickets just so we could go watch him play. And, uh, it was, it was just fun um, getting to watch the way he plays. And whenever someone, you know, kind of compares me or describes me like him, it, it's just a good feeling for me to have. So, Give me a self-scouting report. Put on your scouting hat and evaluate yourself for me. Give me your offensive game and your defensive game and, and what you're like as a ball player. I'd say from a de defensive standpoint, you know, I am a bigger guy, so um, I do have to work harder to stay at shortstop. But um, my main goal is just to work as hard as I can to prove the people wrong that um, think think that um, I can't stay at short. And wh whatever position I end up playing at is where I'll be happy at. Um, but I just want to um, play and just try to prove that I can stay at shortstop, even though I am, you know, bigger than most shortstops. And uh, hitting wise, I'd say. For me, you're getting a guy like um, during this spring season, I, I changed some things approach-wise. Um, I think I'm way better with my approach this year, and I, I'm also um, I can also hit for power and contact. So I think that's that's my that's my good thing for hitting. My my main my main good thing is that I can hit some over the fence, and then I'll also put them in the gaps too. So you mentioned you changed some things this year. What were the adjustments that you made that that clicked that allowed you to? put up the type of season that you did and feel like you're in a really good place offensively as you make the transition to pro bowl? Uh, mentally, um, I, I, my approach just changed mentally. And, um, I, I went into the season telling myself you have three strikes for a reason, you know, it, early in the count, get something you want to hit that you, you think you can do some damage with. And, um, until you get two strikes, just, just swing at what you want, and then whenever you do get do whenever you do get two strikes, just uh just spread out and do something with it. Just just do anything you can to move that runner over, and what whatever the umpire's zone is that game, you you got to play to that too. So, um, whatever's hittable with two strikes, and just do something with it. What did you most learn about yourself through the draft process of talking with teams, of having yourself on display, and everyone? evaluating you to the nth degree, breaking you down, your pros, your cons. What did you most learn about yourself during all that? Um, I think I just learned how to deal with pressure because, um, I mean, normally in a regular day, you're not just getting all those eyes on you and being looked at. So I think definitely um, learning how to deal with the pressure and all the eyes on you. So. 
I would imagine this is a day that you've looked to your entire childhood. You, you've been a ball player a long time. You've been waiting for this day. How did the reality match up to the dream? It was ju- it was just like I imagined. You know, every, every every little kid has that dream of their name being called, and especially for me to be blessed enough to go in the first round and the Washington's first pick. I mean, that that's just um, amazing, and I, I don't think it can get better than this. Brady, thanks so much for the time. Huge congratulations to you, your entire family. Uh, welcome to the Washington Nationals, and we can't wait to see you in person.